Thank you very much, Jimmy, for joining us at this hour. Now, your team, Punjab, was involved in a super over and another super chase. Which was a bigger heartache for you? They just games of cricket. Eh? I'm not sure there's um, heartache involved. Um, obviously, you you want to win, um, but I think more importantly is the the brand of cricket we're playing, which I think has been very good. Um, T20 cricket is one of those things where sometimes you, you don't do a lot wrong, but I mean, come out on the wrong side of the results. So um, obviously, Rajasthan chased um, extremely well the other night. Um, but yeah, we, we were over it. <laughs> There's no heartache. We've um, just got together as a group and we'll be training um, again this evening and tomorrow. I'm looking forward to the game against Mumbai. Well, I was going through your Twitter feed, uh, Jimmy, eager to know where you were on Monday night uh, because it said that you were on your couch. Uh, I, I know you were, a, you were very glad not to be a part of either the Bangalore or the Mumbai team. Um, yeah, I suppose. I mean, it was good to watch. It was a good game to watch from a, from a spectator's perspective, I think. Um, yeah, you always want to be on the field when there's the games like that being decided, but um yeah they were obviously two extremely um, extremely strong teams and um yeah both would have been disappointed to come out of the wrong side of the result too late, too late. Uh, jimmy how does a team like punjab who could have won three on three now has one on three recovered from two of these uh, losses mentally in what space are you guys um you yeah, were in a very good space mentally um there's been no crushing losses from our perspective i think um we're playing very good cricket um we're only one win from three games but um we've been you know in positions to win both of the games we've lost and could easily be three from three so mm -hmm. um it's certainly not a case of, of trying to change everything i think um, we've got a very good unit and we're very well led by by kl and and Nunnell and um i think the calmness of those two uh, will put us in really good stead as a as a group moving forward and um, cricket's a funny game. Um, you do the, the small things well consistently, and, and luck will turn for you eventually. So, for us, it's about continuing to do those small things, continuing to our best forward on the park, and um, we've got full faith that the results will turn around. Uh, Jimmy, I do follow you on Twitter. After that super over uh, loss, you tweeted, For actually, who cares? Super overs that I have bowled or batted in, I am one win. Two ties is that the, for the troll army who claim that you've lost uh, super five super overs now. Um, just the thousand people that tweet me every time a super over happens, and um, there was a fair bit of false information um, floating around about you know how I've been involved in five super overs and lost all five of them, which is just completely untrue. And I just thought um, I'd put out the correct information um, for anyone who cared. Um, but yeah, it's not something that really bothers me all that much. So how has life been in the bio bubble for you? Did you get the golf simulator on rent that you were looking for? Uh, the golf simulator is still a work in progress, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're getting a bit bored, to be honest. Um, there's not a whole lot to do in the bubble apart from um, go and, and sit by the pool and, and have lunch. So. Um, yeah, we're working through a few ways to, to hopefully get a bit more entertainment into our lives here. But um, yeah, I mean, life could be much worse. There's, there's worse places to be than, than stuck inside a, an admittedly very nice hotel. So um, yeah, we'll just get on with the job and continue going to the practice and training hard. And, and I'm sure we'll be um, able to go back and, and see our friends and family um, soon enough. Uh, talking about golfer uh, among cricketers, uh, you know, one talks about A.B. de Villiers, particularly after, uh, you know, those shots that he played the other night. Would you rather have him as your partner and share a golf cart with him? Yeah, absolutely. I'd be very happy to have A.B. as my golf partner, I think. Um, from memory, he's a very, very good golfer. Um, very, very good at most sports. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'd more than happily share a cart with them around around Dubai Golf Club at some point if we can um, get out and break the bubbles. But um, yeah, only if it uh, 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 obeys all the IPL regulations, of course. 
Well, we, we do know that you guys have to go by the IPL regulations and they are pretty strict. But how is the Punjab team coming together under KL Rahul? Yeah, it's coming together really well. He's, he's a fantastic cricketer, I think. Um, I think he's the leading run scorer um, for all teams yeah. over the last two editions of the IPL. So um, he's a very, very talented cricketer. Um, he's a very calm leader. Um, he doesn't get too rolled up when things go wrong and doesn't get too ecstatic when things go well. So mm. I think those are the attributes you want in a leader. I think with him combined with Anil Kumble, who's, who's also a very calm individual, I think it's a really strong leadership group. And um, yeah, I've got full faith in those two as our leaders moving forward um, that under their guidance we'll be able to turn things around a little bit and um, get a bit more success in the, in the wins column. Now, Jimmy, um, since you are uh, talking to me now, I have to ask you about that spectacular save of Nicolas Puran from uh, that night against Rajasthan Royals. How much of a role does Jonty Rhodes have in that? Yeah, Jonty obviously was a very, very talented fielder himself when he was playing. And um, he takes that same passion into his role as our fielding coach. And um, he gets the boys training hard, practicing fielding um, at every training we do. So... I think it's it's not rocket science. You put um, the work in, then every now and then you get the results. So um, I'm sure he'll be very happy with how we've been fielding so far. It's obviously extremely challenging conditions, um, bowling second, especially with the dew factor. Um, so yeah, it's it's easy out there. Um, but I think if we can continue putting the effort in we've been putting in, then then the results will come our way. Right, every team is uh, struggling uh, with that dew factor. We do know it's hot and humid. How different is it having an IPL in UAE at this time than having it in India in the summer? Um, I'm not sure it's different. I think it's uh, similar conditions. It's very, very hot. Um, the wickets are similar. And grounds, are, grounds are potentially a little bit bigger apart from Sharjah. But um, I think it's, it's always challenging for any um, I suppose cricketer from Australia or New Zealand or England um, coming over here with the conditions being so different and um, I think you know it's just about trying to continue playing your own game, continue working with the strengths that you possess in, in your own game and um, trying to fit those strengths into the team unit as well as possible. Now, Jimmy, you got very close to winning and now you're on a couple of days break. How nervous is that wait for you and for the team? No, I think we'll manage two days, um, considering we didn't play from April till September. So um, I think the two-day wait will be fine. Um, now, I'll have to ask you about a very sad story that uh, all of us were a part of, Dean Jones's passing. And uh, I saw that you changed your Twitter profile um, in a way that... Uh, that probably said that was a tribute to Dean Jones. Am I right? Could you could you tell me what is it all about? Have I changed it? I didn't I don't know I've changed it. Have. Maybe I need to <laughs> check my password. But <laughs> no no uh, no no tribute to, to Dean obviously um, he was uh, a very very well liked individual around the cricket world. It's um, been a sad few days obviously since his passing but um, yeah, I think um, the thing about Dean was that he, he did love the game. He loved um, going out in the field and competing. And I think the best way to, to honour someone like that is to continue to, to play the game the way he wanted it played. So um, we'll continue to go out with a smile on our faces, uh, throw the ball around um, and try and have fun out there in the field like, uh, like he used to. Thank you very much, Jimmy, for joining me at this hour. Keep having fun. Keep entertaining uh, the viewers uh, on the field and off the field on Twitter as well. Oh, no worries. Thank you.